Hey everybody, welcome in. We are here for TPI's Hawk News Edition. I'm Santana Wood alongside Amy Passaretti. How are you doing? I'm good and you got my name right this time. <laughs> yes, I didn't get tongue-tied. <laughs> um, so we are here, we're going to dive into a lot of news today. Um, going to talk about the mask mandate a little bit that was extended. Um, also an arrest was made in a shooting in Alexander City. Um, some Elmore County news, Tallahassee backpack giveaway along with football practice. Yeah, so let's uh, let's dive right into that mask mandate. Uh, so yesterday Governor Kay Ivey held a press conference um, which extended the mandatory mask mandate uh, basically another month through August 31st. So, and individuals um, are asked to continue wearing face, face coverings um, whenever, you know, in public and in close contact with other people. Yeah, so Governor Ivey said that she believes that the masks are working. Uh, Dr. Scott Harris said that the numbers are still not really all that encouraging. We've still got a while until, until we're going to beat the coronavirus, but the point of the mask is to reduce that transmission. Um, and the only real change from that previous order is that students in second grade through college um, must wear masks at all schools throughout the state as well as employees. Yes, and, and you know, our local schools have already implemented that um, in both Tallapoosa County Schools and Alex City, so um, they are already on track with that, but uh, it will be mandatory. Um, and, you know, rolling right into the coronavirus numbers, the reason kind of for the mask mandate, um, we have had 4,366 new cases statewide um, since our show on Monday. Yeah, so that is a total of 83,495 in the state since the beginning of the pandemic. Um, also for our local counties, Tallapoosa County added 12 new cases since Monday, uh, coming to a total of 781 since the beginning of the pandemic. Over in Coosa County, four new cases since Monday, a total of 89. Yeah, and uh, Elmore County um, has added 48 new cases, um, which totals them at 1,514 1, new cases. Um, in Tallapoosa County, uh, yesterday there was a shooting on um, I Street in the morning. Um, an arrest has was made actually as of last night by the Alex City Police Department. Um, Willie James Whetstone uh, was arrested for and charged with uh, first degree assault. Yeah, so um, that shooting did leave a 46-year-old man in critical condition. Um, as of yesterday afternoon, uh, the Alexander City Police Department did make quick work of that case, though, um, arresting Whetstone, um, charging him with first-degree assault. That's a Class B felony. Um, could mean jail time from 2 to 20 years if he is found guilty. Yeah, um, and yesterday also you know, not some not so great news of uh, a car caught fire yesterday on Cherokee Road. Um, thankfully, nobody, there were no injuries involved and the Alex City Fire Department um, also made quick work and was on site to put that out. Yeah, so no injuries in that whatsoever. You know, I talked to the man who was driving the vehicle and he said that um, he was just driving down Cherokee Road and all of a sudden his car kind of stalled and went up in flames, but he was not hurt whatsoever. He was the only passenger. Um, backed up traffic for a little bit along Cherokee Road right there at the entrance of CAC and Young Acres, um, but the Alex Alexander City Police Department uh, cleared and redirected all that traffic as well. Yes, all, all good news there. That's, that's a good thing. Um, and uh, also in Tallapoosa County, Jim Pearson um, Elementary School is uh, set to start construction. Um, they're going to be doing some renovations, which will combine their two separate buildings. Um, and they are actually doing a groundbreaking um, as we speak. Yeah, so you can read more about that capital project in Saturday's Outlook um, and also tune into Monday's show for additional details. We are going to take a quick break and we will be right back.
and welcome back to TPI Talk News Edition. Uh, we were just talking about some Tallapoose County news um, and Governor Kay Ivey's mask mandate uh, that has been extended through August and some coronavirus numbers. So now we're going to um, wrap up with some Elmore County news and finish off with sports. Over in Tallahassee, Tech Advisor Courtney Perry discusses a TCC Wireless Verizon Stores backpack giveaway, which was held at all area Verizon stores. More than 200 packs of school supplies were given away to area children on Sunday in Tallahassee. Yes, yeah, so we're going to listen to uh, Carmen Rogers um, spoke with Courtney Perry, and we're going to listen to her now um, and talk about the giveaway. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Carmen Rogers, Bureau Chief at the Tallahassee Tribune. This weekend, TCC Wireless Verizon Stores held a backpack giveaway for area students. Sunday, I spoke with Tech Advisor Courtney Perry about this annual event. So today we're doing our annual TCC book bag giveaway. Um, so what we do is we have book bags that come in, we stuff them, they have school supplies, paper, pencil, that type of thing, and then you just come up with your children and you're able to get a free book bag to get ready for school. TCC does it every year. A portion of every sale that you do with the cellular connection, which is TCC, goes to foreign funds getting ready for this every year. This one we're giving over 200 away. So each store has about 200 book bags to give away. Wetumpka is a TCC, Alexander City is a TCC company, and our Valley store are actually TCC company. So every company, every store um, in the TCC umbrella is doing a book bag giveaway today. So Tuscaloosa has it, Bruton has it, a lot of people. If it's a TCC, the cellular collection, they have a book bag giveaway today, one to four. Any little thing that you can do can help. It's even just putting a smile on the face. It's not even the fact of giving something to somebody. Just being here and putting a smile on somebody's face is all about what TCC Cares is. That's the foundation that we're a part of that funds this. It's just being there for the community in every little aspect that we can see. Whether it's something for the veterans, whether it's something like the, the this quarter, we focused on um, foster children. So we actually went out and we gave boxes to area foster, uh, foster centers, uh, well DHRs, to give the foster children. Any little thing can help. In these hard times, just smile and take care of everybody. You're not the only one. Whether you're in your house alone, you're still alone with somebody. So just give somebody a hug. Give somebody just a little bit of ounce of love every day. Thank you, Courtney. With so many people out of work right now due to the COVID-19 health pandemic, small acts of kindness like this really go a long way. Thank you for joining me. Until next week, I'm Carmen Rogers reporting for Tallapoosa Publishers. Thank you, Carmen and Courtney, for that. Good to see such uh, great participation in that backpack giveaway. Also in some sports news, football practice officially kicked off this week for all our Tri-County area teams. Uh, you know, the shift from workouts to practice really helps change the mentality of the players, you know, really get into that games coming up soon mode. Um, and it also helps the coaches evaluate their players. Yeah, in, uh, for Tallapoosa and Coosa County teams, um, Coosa County is starting to fill out its roster. Um, Dadeville is... Uh, starting to mesh well with that new coach, um, Coach Roger McDaniel, McDonald, excuse me. Um, Benjamin Russell has high expectations, um, and uh, Horseshoe Bend and Real Town, just like all the rest of the teams, are just excited to be back on the field and excited to have a season. Over in Elmore County, Caleb Turrentine stopped by local practices this week and got a feel for those area teams as well. Last week, the AHSA announced that the football, high school football season would go ahead as scheduled, and local teams couldn't wait to hit the field Monday to start their first week of official practice. Tallahassee wasted very little time and went at midnight for the fourth straight year on uh, Monday morning to be one of the first teams in the state to hit the field. Uh, Coach Mike Battles said that this was more exciting than in the past seasons because they were not sure that this day would even come, and even though there are a lot of things still in the air, they're, they're getting prepared for the new season. Most of the other teams started later that day on Monday with Tumka hit the field Monday morning at 9 a.m. Coach Tim Perry said that he was using this time to still evaluate his players and some of the positions on the starting depth chart because of the lost time in spring. Wetumpka is just three weeks before their first game week, which will be a rivalry game, so there's plenty of excitement as they prepare to play Prattville at Crampton Bowl on August 21st in Montgomery. Elmore County took Monday for a coaches meeting, but hit the field for their first practice on Tuesday afternoon. 
Coach Jordan Cantrell said that they have higher numbers this year and have a little bit more promise as they enter their first year uh, in Class 5A. Uh, the season in Elmore County kicks off on August 20th with Tallahassee hosting Realtown. Uh, stay, make sure to stay tuned for more coverage leading up to the football season, including full team previews uh, in our annual Gridiron Guide, which will come out on August 19th. I'm Caleb Turrentine, reporting for Tallahoosa Publishers. Thank you, Caleb, for that update. Uh, I know everybody is excited to have some football back, um, back in action. Um, over in Wetumpka, they are gearing up to host their second um, merchant's market from 5.30 to 8.30 on August 6th. Um, the first one they held was a big success. They had uh, farmers there, vendors, artisans selling homemade goods, and apparently the residents um, really wanted to see more of it, so they're going to be holding their second one um, in Merchant's Alleyway, and I believe there's a couple more to come after that. Yeah, so that should be a, another good event, really great thing going on over there in Wetumpka. As always, we thank you all for tuning in with us tonight. Um, we are actually going to be live every Monday and Thursday at 5.20 p.m. here on Facebook, so y'all be sure to tune in again on Monday. Again, I'm Santana Wood, Managing Editor, alongside Amy Passaretti. Y'all have a good night.